Vicky Guerrero and SmackDown present the most extreme hot human for showers and thunderstorms. Appreciate that. On today's show, are there hotel rooms available on the coast for this Memorial Day weekend? We'll look at occupancy rates on this big holiday weekend. And we have information you need to know on a disease that may appear at any time in anyone's life, what symptoms you should look for, and is there a treatment? Find out. And what foods you should eat, too. And really? speaking of food, dinner for two, anyone? Your chance to win from Hard Rock when we come back. Celiac disease affects more than 3 million Americans. Many of them are undiagnosed. Celiac is a disorder that is activated by eating gluten, proteins found in wheat, rye, and barley. One organization wants to help improve awareness and educate local Gulf Coast residents about the disease. Here to explain more and to show us ways we can help treat and prevent the disease even, Shannon Lutkins and Elizabeth Smith, thank you so much for joining us. Did I thank get that you. name right? You sure I did. couldn't even read my own writing. Imagine <laughs> <That's good>. that. <laughs> thank you. Um, tell me a little bit about, first of all, Shannon and Elizabeth, both of you have celiac disease, right? Yes, Correct. we do. Oh, mm -hmm. We're going to put up a list of symptoms in a minute, but have you all been diagnosed with this for a while? I've had it for seven years. And I've had it for four. Okay, and is it tough living with this disease? It is in the beginning. Once you get learning about it, which is wonderful about having the new foundation, it is much easier. But in the beginning, you just have to change the exact way you live your life, and that's the difficult part. Well, let's go ahead and put up the symptoms for people so they'll have an idea of some of the symptoms. There are many, but recurring bloating, gas, abdominal pain, chronic diarrhea or constipation, unexplained weight loss or weight gain, pale, foul-smelling stool. These are all very unpleasant things. Exactly. <laughs> um, unexplained anemia, bone or joint pain, behavior changes, depression, irritability. And again, there's a longer list of uh, symptoms, but these are some of the more common ones, would you say? These are your yeah. classic symptoms. Yeah, those are definitely classic. Well, we have some food out here, and that's the key, isn't it? it to change your diet. It's, just, it's a complete change. There's um, many, many things that you can eat. A lot of natural foods are available. Um, there's a lot of foods available in health food stores. These foods came from health nuts and she has a great variety um, you can get a lot at Walmart even on the back of their packages now say gluten-free so awareness is coming about it's just gonna take some time and hopefully our foundation will will get everybody's knowledge out there so they understand what we go through and Elizabeth why did you think it was important to have a foundation well down in the Gulf Coast more in the bigger cities they have more foundations more things going on down in the Gulf Coast we didn't seem to really have that going and there's a lot of people out there celiac disease is a very lonely disease you feel like you're the only person out there with this disease um, and when you first get diagnosed you just don't know where to go who to talk to what to do what to change what you can eat can't eat um, and I found as I was you know going through this disease I was constantly having all these questions the only thing I could do is go on the internet and and you can find a lot of stuff on the internet, but um, you wanted to talk to somebody. So I wanted to start the foundation so that people had somebody to call, somewhere to go. Um, we can meet, we meet every month to talk um, about the disease, help people, new people with it. Um, there's people out there that have been diagnosed for 15, 20, 30 years that come to the meetings to, and they have a lot more knowledge, you know, than we do you know, um, since I've only had it for four years. Um, so everybody just kind of gets together and we learn a lot through each other. But it really is important to treat yourself for this, even though a lot of people may ignore the symptoms and think, well, I just have stomach issues. Right. Um, it can lead to more serious illness. Very serious. They, there's one study that shows that 40 to 100 percent higher chance of colon cancer or intestinal cancers come along with this disease as well as infertility, miscarriages, um, diabetes is a secondary symptom. There's a lot of things that go along with it so if you ignore it it, they, they only get worse and it is hereditary so if you have it there's a genetic test that can be done for other people in your family to see if they have it as well. And even young children very, are affected by yes, this. Yes, very much so. Um, Elizabeth, um, did it take you a while to get used to the food changes? Because I know you've just been living yeah. with it four years. Yeah, it, it does. It takes a while. Um, the hardest part is actually you don't realize how many things wheat is in, what products they're in. Um, so you'll go to eat something thinking that you're good to go and the next thing is you're just sick. 
um, and then you find out it was something that you ate that you just didn't think it was in there. And restaurants are impossible. Well, <laughs> if you'd like to learn more about this organization, it's www.gulfcoastceliac.org, right? Correct. Okay, and we want to thank uh, Health Nuts and Gulfport again for bringing this food along to let us know there are plenty of options out there. Thank you so much thank for joining you. us. Nice it's great thank to have you. you on the show. Thank Good. you. When we come back, we're going to take a journey and discover the spiritual truth that one man has experienced.